Spirit of the Lord comes upon you, well, what do you do? Do you dance like David danced? Do you pray like David prayed? Do you sing like he did? Or do you do it in your own way? Something new and innovative. God will give you a brand new dance, a brand new song, a brand new prayer that you won't be able to utter, but the Spirit will make intercession on your behalf. On this beautiful Wednesday, May 11th, I don't know what you're going through today, but confound the enemy, confuse him. You know, when he has sent arrows and annihilating assignments, the adversary, listen, the Lord promises to avenge you, to protect you, to take care of that issue. So you rest and trust in the Lord as you do his work today and spread his love. Again, this is Wednesday, May 11th. We're in a brand new book and it's Ezekiel. And the very name of Ezekiel means strong one, the strength of the Lord. And listen, you are an Ezekiel because God has given his power, his might in you from glory. And whatever you're going through, there's a scripture in the first chapter of Ezekiel, I believe it's verse three, where it described who Ezekiel was. He was a prophet. He was a priest. He was by the river and he saw lots of visions. And don't we know that the Lord still gives indications and signs and signals and visions to his people today as he did many, many years ago? Well, it says that Ezekiel was in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chebar, and the hand of the Lord was there upon him. We saw back in 1 Kings in the 18th chapter how the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, the prophet, right? After he saw a cloud that was the size of a hand, and then there was rain. Then after so much time when the land did not have any type of moisture. Well, the Lord can do anything. He still is performing miracles today. If we have the hand of the Lord upon us, what do you mean by that? Well, in Isaiah 41, 10, fear thou not for I, the Lord am with thee. Be not dismayed for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. There we go. Yea, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Right? We are covered by the Lord. And in verse 20 of Isaiah 41, that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord have done this. Yes. So when the Lord is in your life, he will cover you. And it says, the Holy One of Israel have created it. Produce your cause, say the Lord, bring forth. He wants you to produce some great works today, even in the midst of those fiery trials, because the presence of the Lord is with you. The presence of the Lord is there, right there. The hand of the Lord is with you. And the hand of the Lord will cause you to do great and unimaginable things. And only people will be like, it's only the glory of the Lord. In verse 28 of Ezekiel 1, likeness of the glory of the Lord. Yes, you, because you have the anointing, the spirit of the Lord all in you, it's going to be evident. You're not going to have to say anything. You're just going to do you because it's not you being seen, but it's the God in you. So surrender your all to the Lord, continue to trust him, and he'll bring his plans to pass. Psalms 11, and the Lord put I my trust, right? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, he sees. His eyelids try the children of men. And the Lord wants us to continue to do the righteousness that he has offered to all of us. In the meantime, 
And all they that hate me in Psalms 41 together against me, against me, do they devise my hurt? Mm -mm. Don't, don't even do any type of worrying because it says in verse 10, but thou Lord be merciful unto me and raise me up that I may requite them. The Lord will be the one to deal with that situation. We know that David was going through a lot and the Lord protected him and gave him so many songs. And Lord, thou hast taught us from our youth. Hitherto have we declared thy wondrous works. The Lord will not depart us from us, but he will allow us to do Psalm 71, 16. I will go in the strength of the Lord God today, just like Ezekiel. Thank you, Father, for yet another day. The spirit of the Lord is upon us. We'll continue to dance. We'll continue to pray. We'll continue to sing, rejoice, live out your will, no matter what the enemy brings our way, because we trust in you with all our heart. And we'll continue to bask in your presence. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.